explain what you want. Jesus on the main line now. Well, Jesus on the main line. Jesus on the main line. Well, Jesus on the main line. Jesus on the main line now. If you want to be delivered, what you want. If you want to be delivered, tell him what you want. If you want to be delivered, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line now. If you want your family safe, tell him what you want. If you want your family saved, tell him what you want. If you want your family saved, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line now. Well, Jesus on the main line. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line, now one more time. Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line, what you want. Jesus on the main line. One more time for the third pull. Jesus on the main line. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line. What you want. Jesus on the main line now. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. <clears throat> Father, how we praise you. Father, how we thank you. Father, how we give you glory tonight. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. All the angels around standing at their posts. Praise God. I can see Elohim. Praise God. Saying, come on, Michael. Come on, Gabriel. I found a people on the earth that has a faith. Let's go down tonight and have fellowship. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Shall we bow our heads in a word of prayer? Almighty God, our hearts are full of joy tonight. Praise God to know during this Easter season, praise God that we have raised from the dead. Oh, praise God. And thou hast given us new life. Amen. We once was dead in sin and trespasses. Thou hast quickened us, praise God. Quickened by the quickening power. How we praise you and thank you, Lord. What a beautiful Easter time. I pray tonight, Lord, that you will anoint my tired, weary body and mind. Lord, these few remarks tonight, little inspiration you put upon my heart. A few pastoral messages. Amen. Quotes. Praise the Lord. Lord God, may you anoint it. And Father, may you pour out the baptism of the Holy Ghost in fire tonight. Lord God, may there be such an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. The people will be sealed. Hallelujah. Fill and refill and heal and deliver. Oh, praise God. May you just have full sway tonight. May the Holy Spirit just sweep out tonight across the people, Lord, and revive the seven thunder seeds that's in the people for a seven thunder revival. Bless the word tonight. Heal any sick and afflicted by your Holy Spirit. Father, we pray and ask the blessing in Jesus' name for his glory. Amen. I'd like to invite your attention to the book of Job. Remain standing, please. <clears throat> and if you're finding a marker, Malachi 3. 
in Acts, the first chapter. Everybody feeling fine tonight? <clears throat> Reading from Job 38, verse 4. Where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare if thou hast understanding. Who hath laid the measures thereof, if thou knowest, or who hath stretched the line upon it? Whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened, or who laid the cornerstone thereof? When the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy. Malachi 3, verse 16. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. That's why we fellowship here. And the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts. In that day, what day? This day. When I make up my jewels and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Then shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God and him that serveth him not. Acts 1 8. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. May God the blessing to reading of his word. You may be seated. All praise God tonight. Have you been enjoying the messages, the worship, the praises, the singing? Amen. What a time of fellowship. Well, amen. I'd like to take a thought out of here tonight. The manifested Lamb's book of redemption. Now, hang on to that word. The manifested Lamb's book of redemption. Amen. It's got to be manifested. Amen. I'm in the book of redemption, but it's got to be manifested according to your promise for your time, for your season, for your age. Now, remember, tomorrow morning we have a, a Easter sunrise service, 6 a.m. Uh, I hope everybody can make it. Amen. Praise God. Subject, Messiah's the anointed word. My inspiration the manifestation is the interpretation. This great question of Job 38.4 that has been, uh, 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 been on the minds of the great uh, ministers and teachers and Bible expounders for years. Amen. And where was thou when I laid the foundation of the earth? Declare thou hast understanding. This is what used to always, I tried to always understand when Brother Ram was saying from the foundation or before the foundation was it two different words. I was always trying to understand that. But September 20, 1981, I was pondering this great question, the Holy Spirit. So I said, Lord, what am I trying to understand here? So you're trying to understand the revelation of the Lamb's Book of Life. He said, it's in two parts. One part is the thought. And if you're not in the thought, you'll never be in the book. And the other part is the logos. And number three is manifestation. Thought, word, manifestation. But the thought and the word was before the foundation, was before the devil was created, was before the angels, before the atoms and molecules and the worlds. You was there. You could hang your soul on it tonight. Amen. And we need, we need this kind of a message in this great hour. We need to know who we are. We need to know where we come from. We need to know where are we going. So won't be no hoping so, maybe, I think so. Amen. No winking, this is it, and so forth. Amen. Praise God for what he said. So I pray tonight that God will take my mind, move it aside. The mind of Christ will drop down in here to say the things that you need to know tonight. 
Praise God. We got to have a prophetic message to tell you where you're going and what you're supposed to be doing. Amen. So therefore, this great question of Job 38, 4, where was thou when I laid the foundation of earth? Declare if thou hast understanding. This great question had been sealed as a mystery on the back part of the book of God, written before the foundation of the world. In Revelation 8, 13, 8, in our day, this thing, it says, all who dwell upon the face of the earth. That's, that gets everybody. All that dwell here shall be deceived by the beast and his organized systems in the, except the elected ones whose names was written in the Lamb's book of life. Are you catching what the prophet's telling you? He's trying to tell you at this last age, this eagle age, this bride age is different from the church age. In that age, anybody could be saved. But this age, no. Only all that dwell upon the face of the earth shall be deceived, even thinking they're getting saved in these churches. Even interpretation in the message, because the devil takes 99 and 9 tenths percent of the message. It's that teeny weeny itty bitty part that they leave off. That's for the bride. The devil can use the rest of it, and they become make-believers. Praise God. So the only ones that can be saved is though in this age, when them seven seals broke, only the seeds of God could be saved. But the shuck after 1963 was going to hang around for about a half an hour, trying to make you think they're saved. But that bride shall not be deceived. Her name is in the book. Not enough devils to erase it out of there, praise God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. So this great question was sealed, a threefold mystery, sealed by seven thunders locked in the back part of God's mind. And God put representation back there for you by predestination. Praise God. On world falling apart, amen. It's kind of some holy prayer. Drop this in here tonight. So I'll just drop it in here. Page 10 and 11. Notice here, he said, oh, page 10, paragraph 57. Oh, today it's becoming to us that we fulfill all righteousness of our day. The hour is here. The Bible tells us what's going to happen. Amen. Where am I reading from? Praise the Lord. Oh, I'm sorry. Page 2. Amen. Here we are. Page 2, uh, paragraph 10. That's where we are. Now, then each night, we want every person that's not a Christian, hope something will be said or, be, or done, that you become a Christian. We hope it's in here. If you're not in this message, Come in this message here. Amen. God's not prejudiced. If he just had this meeting for our Amish brothers and sisters in Pennsylvania, they're here. They have come because God called them to be here. And they're here shouting and praising God. They have accepted the message because their names is in the book. I don't care whether you're Amish, Presbyterian, Muslim, Buddha, Hindu, if your name is in that book, praise God, you hear the lamb call your name out of there. See, it's not some denomination. Now, who you are, who you think you are, is your name in the book. Glory. Amen. If you're not, you already believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and accept Him and been baptized. And if you haven't received the Holy Ghost as yet, don't let this get by. L just let this be your night to receive the Holy Ghost. Because remember, there will be just so many names on that book. And when the last name is added, that's all of it. 
and yours might complete it. We're going to find out what it means for your name to, com to complete it. And the Lamb come and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. That was the book of redemption. He took the book of redemption of the names that he had redeemed them. Names. Been back in intercession. Seven church ages back in there. This is not intercession now. This is redemption. He's not back in and interceding for you. He's already come down for you and called you out of there. Come out of her, my people. You're, you're out. If you're out, stay out. God. Don't bring those Laodicean sins back into pride. You will purge from them things. Glory. Amen. That was the book of redemption. And those names was put in there before the foundation of the world. When was your name put in there? Before the devil was created. <laughs> before the angels were singing. You was in a thought. He expressed you in love. And you are before him tonight in love. He loved you. Praise God. Amen. And those names are put in there before the foundation of the world. When that last name was called, the book, the plan, everything else was revealed then. The seven seals were opened by the Lamb. The mysteries of the whole Bible was hid in there. If we had time, I'd like to just got through with those seven seals just recently. I'd like to go through them again and just show how the Lord blessed us. Page 8, paragraph 15. Paragraph 13. And the last name goes on that book or the last name that's redeemed. Hold it right there. The last name, not just going on the book, but the last name that's redeemed. Tonight, redemption. And redemption is in two parts. Revelation and manifestation. So it's praise God. There's got to come a manifestation of your redemption in your season and in your time. Now then that's redeemed. The last name that's redeemed, that would be your baby's name. When your baby is redeemed, full of the Holy Ghost, that might be it. Praise God. Brother Brown said the only babies going to the rapture will be those with the Holy Ghost that's predestinated. Therefore, their names must be in there. Oh, praise God. See, a manifestation of your baby full of the Holy Ghost. When that happens... That your baby could be the last name. Praise Glory. The last name that's redeemed that was put on the book, that settles it. He comes to claim what he's redeemed. And it might be a strange time. Did you ever think people will go right on preaching? The church will go right on even thinking they're getting people saved. It's too late then. It's all over. The message will go to the total loss. Just like it did in the days of Noah, seven days in the ark. It did in the days of Sodom. Jesus himself, his third stage of his ministry, he went and preached to souls that were eternally lost. And that were in prison that repented not. The long suffering in the days of Noah. And we don't know what time these things might happen. And let's be warned. Don't just stand around. Let's do something about it. If we're not... If we're not right with God, let's get right with God. Oh, my, huh? Praise God, what an hour. That's why we call these meetings, to exhort you, to encourage you. Praise God. Page 20, paragraph 127. So where are we at? We see nations are breaking and Israel awakening. The sign that the Bible foretold for this day. We see the mechanical things taking place. Now the Spirit... The dynamics of that promise word. What, what, what's your promise? The seven thunders give faith. That's your revelation. Well, now, the dynamics, the spirit of that promise word, the rapture and grace of that promise thunders. Are you understanding now? Amen. We see the mechanical things. Amen. Now, the spirit, the dynamics of that promised word to get into his church and drive them into Calvary yonder. 
and then to the rapture. You mean to tell me that we have to go to Calvary? When the dynamics falls, it'll drive you to Calvary. Praise God, amen. That's where we're going. We're going to Calvary. We're going to die that Christ might live. That's the Easter message. Seven living, thundering voices thundering out of us. Oh, praise God. Amen. All shall be deceived. Now, what did God do? He chose you in Him and then put your name on the book before the world ever began. Oh, hallelujah. This was done to make sure that God wanted to have a bride in the last days to defeat the beast in his system. See what God did? Wrote this book of Revelation, hid all these things in there, and said on purpose that the beast would deceive everybody. Then on purpose, predestinated a people that would not be deceived. And uh, one hand he says this, on the other hand he says that to combat it. There's only two spirits on the earth. I'm going to speak on tomorrow morning. One's going to drive you to hell. And one will drive you into the rapture. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. Yes, sir. Praise God. The bride was an Elohim's thinking before the world began. The bride was part of the great threefold mystery, sealed by the thunders, the back part of his mind. The bride was an Elohim's thinking in him, the great eternal, which was his thoughts, which is his attributes. Glory to God. St. John 1. You believe that? In the beginning was the Logos. And the Logos was with God. And the, Amen. With Elohim, rather. And the Logos was Elohim. You believe that? Praise God. The Elohim and the Logos. We were part of Elohim, the thought. Then expressed as a word, seed, in the Logos. Amen. You were in the Logos before the world began as a word, seed. Amen. Praise God. Where and your name was written in heaven. Amen. And then you have to come forth in your season, in your time. The word seed from the locals comes forth. And Jesus said, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. Jesus come in the volume of the book to die for you and me. And you were in him on the cross. You was in him when he went down to hell. You was in him when he rose again. Praise God. Hallelujah. Ain't enough devils in hell to keep you. Praise God. You come from God and you're going back to God. Seven steps from God and seven steps back to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Number one, you were part of Elohim the thought. Then you was expressed, number two, as a word, seed in the locals. Number three, then in our generation and in our time, we become manifested. Are the manifested Lamb's book of redemption. This makes you eternal. Before the world ever began, before he created the angels, all that back there. And in heaven, there was a book of memory. Amen. And his attributes was in him. What a message. Redemption. Representation by predestination. Do you realize your position tonight? Do you realize your season's message? Adoption, perfection, a spoken word pride. Amen. When you see the perfection, when you see the adoption, then you will see redemption. Praise God. The manifested Lamb's book of redemption. You are to be the physical manifestations of the attributes. Amen. That's the Easter message. The bride is to prove that Christ has risen in them. And they are the physical manifestation of the Lamb's book of life. That's you. All the, pro all the promised word made flesh. Amen. This Bible has is, is, is to be made flesh in you. And Christ was the Messiah, the anointed word. Not just the mechanics, but the Messiah is the anointed word. Both mechanics and dynamics together. Amen. On the rising of the sun. Praise God. On page 11 here. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Notice the very message of the gospel itself is to prove to the people he is risen. The very essence of Malachi force message. Not to talk about, but to prove to the people that Christ is risen in you. Go tell my disciples I am risen from the dead. I'll meet them with them to confirm it to them. 
and he told them where to go. Tell them I'll meet them in Galilee. Tell them I'll meet them in justification. I'll meet them in sanctification. I'll meet them in the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I'll meet them in the seven thunders. Go tell my disciples, the seven thunders shall gather them together. The seven thunders shall give them faith. Go tell my disciples this message. Tell them where I'll be at. And even after he tells them where to go at, some cannot come to that place. Oh, hallelujah, they can't come there. Yet he told them tape after tape here, there, there, a little bit here, a little bit there. He told them to meet me in Galilee. Meet me in the seven thunders. I'll meet you in the seven thunders. In there, I'll give you rapture and grace. In there, I'll seal you. I'll heal you. In the seven thunders, you have my new name in the thunders. Praise God. Amen. Oh God, how in his last days there shall be light again across the earth. And I'll prove to my disciples, go tell them that I'm not dead. Go tell them that I am not a tradition, but I'm a living Christ. I'll meet them. Take this message to my disciples that I'm risen from the dead. That's the gospel. The gospel is the good news that your name was written on the Lamb's book of life before the foundation of the world. That's the gospel. Preach the gospel. Tell them people, what are you doing down in this world here? What are you doing in this denomination here? Get out of there. I got good news for you. I come from the throne of God to tell you, get out of them denominations. That's the gospel. Preach the gospel. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Yes, sir. In the very, now the very essence of the message that was sent. He is risen from the dead. We, his beneficiaries, we who share the resurrection with him, draw benefits from this by proving to the world that he is alive. We cannot do it by word only. We can't do it by gasoline only. For the kingdom of God is not in word only, but in power and in gasoline and dynamics. Praise God. Amen. Glory, glory. I felt fire on that one. Praise God. Amen. Glory, page 17. Here's what he said here. He prophesied here. There's going to be a bride. Hallelujah. There's got to come up there. He said, there has been churches. Brides, brides, churches, brides, brides. But there's got to come one. Hallelujah. There has got to come a real bride. Amen. There must come one. That's not only got the mechanics, but the dynamics of him makes that church live, move in the power of the resurrection until, until we come to that place, until we find that place. What good does it do to polish the hubs? Amen. What good does it do to give her a facelift and a simonized job when there's no dynamics in it? No matter how much the mechanics prove to be right. You can quote, 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 quote all you want to. But there's got to come some dynamics. Amen. There's got to be dynamics to make it work. That's what he proved. Hallelujah. That's what Easter proves. He wasn't only the Word, but he was God himself, the dynamics in the Word. God Elohim in Logos. We have the Logos in us, praise God. Amen. With a birth in there. But we want God Logos. I mean, we want God Elohim in the Logos. The Father in me and I in him and you in me. Father Elohim in the Logos and Logos and Elohim and Logos and Elohim in the bride. What a mystery. Who can understand? How could the, is there two of them? But at that day, you should understand what day when the seven hundreds are revealed. This day, you understand Logos and Elohim. What is it? Your name in the book. You are the expression from all the way from Adam was the book of life being revealed through the generations. A little bit here, Gideon there, Ezekiel there, Hannah over there. That's the book of life. They was expressing 
but he couldn't he couldn't bring out the real revelation yet he was holding it back for the last days coming all down through there they was expressing in their day David and Moses was expressing Jesus Christ and Joseph praise God then it come down to the early pride then it come down to the seven church ages bring it out bring it out bring it out more fully coming down to our day then all of a sudden seven angels appear what is it the coming of the Lord hallelujah then God called you out to express the coming of the Lord you are the coming of the Lord the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and you are the shout you are the coming for 20 years you have manifested his coming you have already been raptured in one phase this great secret, this great revelation was revealed through you. You are revealing the coming of the Lord. You are the coming of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. What devil can come against that? Glory. That's what it proves. He was God himself, dynamics. Page 17 and 18, and he being the groom, the bride has to, has to come forth because it's part of him. And it can only be the manifestation, the manifestation of the fulfilling of all revelations. You mean to tell me that if it says seven thunders, which is a revelation, gathers a bride together, there's got to be a manifestation of that? I just read it to you. There's got to come, there, it can only be the manifestation of the fulfilling of all revelations any others that spoke of the bride anything that spoke of the bride must be manifested hallelujah and the dynamic is going to manifest it glory to God that will be Easter The Easter seal, which is the seventh seal. He's going to break the seventh seal and reveal the Easter seals. All of the Easter seals is under the seventh seal. Glory. Any other spoke of the bride, it can only manifest. If it does something different from the groom, it isn't the bride because she's flesh of his flesh bone of his bone, life of his life, power of his power. Oh, praise God. Amen. Adam anointed Eve with his spirit. Adam's spirit anointed Eve, for she was bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh. And you're bone of his bone, therefore his spirit will anoint you. Glory! Praise God! Until that church becomes both dynamics and mechanics, and the Spirit of God that moved him to do the things that he did, if he hit on 16 cylinders, so will the bride. Amen! For he said, St. John 14, 12, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also. I'll give him a charge of my dynamics in his mechanics, that the world will not be able to withstand it. You'll shake this world, praise God. Under the impact of the word being spoken word by word by word. That's the Easter message. The dynamics and mechanics together. The mechanics without the dynamics, no good. Our seven thunder revelation without the dynamics, no good. But he promised. Praise God. Hallelujah. Neither the dynamic without the mechanics. You can scream and jump and up and down and shout all, and down all you want to and deny this word. Won't do any good. You're just cranking around the pistons. Got spark there to fire, but no gasoline to fire it by. They only work as they come together. So one will set still and the other one will go up. That's the only thing there is to it. Yet they both might look like 
Both claim to be churches. Both claim to be brides. But one has the mechanics and dynamics. Look at the hour. How many are looking for dynamics in the message? But I know you are, but how many out there are looking for it? Just mechanics laying around looking for the rapture. But he said here, without the dynamics, no good. Some are looking to go in the resurrection and then get the dynamics. You need the dynamics before you go in the resurrection. Amen. So there we are. Oh, praise God. Do you understand tonight? Hallelujah. See, friends, there's got to be a manifestation. The Word becomes alive in our flesh. That shows the presence of God. It must be a manifestation. You believe that? Just a few more seeds in here. Amen. The seed of discrepancy. Page 5. And he said, the seed of God, the Word of God. Jesus said in a certain place that the Word is a seed, and every seed will bring forth of its kind. Now, if the Christian, the children of God, the children of the kingdom has become the seed of God, then they must be the Word of God. Amen. The Word of God manifested in the age that they are living in. For the promised seed of that age, God gave His Word at the beginning, and each age has had its seed, its time, its promises. Page 6, now we live through Luther, Wesley, Methodist ages, all down through the ages, and the Pentecostal age, and each age has given a promise of the Word. And the people of that age that manifest that promised word is the seed of the age. What's the promised word for this age? Seven thunders within those that manifest the seven thunders is the seed. Those that manifest adoption is the seed. Those that manifest perfection is the seed of that age. Praise God. Amen. According to what Jesus said right here, they are the children of the kingdom. That's right. The manifestation of the Holy Spirit operating through his children is those seed of the kingdom at that age. A manifestation of the dynamics operating through you Man makes you a manifested Lamb's book of redemption. Shows the world you are redeemed. Let the redeemed say so. Oh, praise God. My, my glory. Redemption is in two parts. Revelation and manifestation. Praise God. See, those that manifest Ephesians and St. John and St. Mark 16 in action, that promised word in their age, their season, their time, is the seed of that age. They are the children of the kingdom. The manifestation of the Holy Spirit operating through you. I'm driving it down home on the tank. The manifestation will be the interpretation. Messiah is the anointed word. Every born again, spirit filled son and daughter of God of this age will be the interpretation of the word because you are written epistles and then you become Messiahs. Messiah means anointed one, Christ. Christ is the word. Christ is the anointed word in every age. And that agent, that is the Messiah. Glory. See, you must have the anointing with you. There must be a manifestation. Because you are God's words. You are God's mechanics. You shall receive the dynamics to be a display of His attributes. God just not going to make you mechanics and leave you. Praise God. He's going to manifest you. Oh, hallelujah. Who do you say this is? The prophets were the anointed messiahs for their age. The word that was promised for that age. And when Jesus came, he was the fullness of the word. And we are to be messiahs today. Do you believe that? Well, the prophet said so. Question and answers number one, page 54, paragraph 232. Brother, Brother Brand was answering the question, was he the Messiah? He said, the first place, I'm not a Messiah. See, a Messiah is Jesus Christ. But we are Messiahettes. Every one of us. You are Messiahettes. 
So therefore, you might as well start calling yourself by your right names. Glory! I'm a Messiah, devil! Glory! Oh, praise God! Amen. Two is a witness. Question and answers number two. Page 163, paragraph 89. The word Messiah, the anointed one. Now, quote, you are, if you have the Holy Spirit, you become the anointed one. We are Messiah ants. Amen. The pillar of fire, the heavenly astronaut is assigned to us, is here today to anoint the sons of God. He's here, the, the pillar of fire is here, the dynamics is here to anoint the sons of God. He come here to anoint you, to bring back a ministry. Just exactly like he had and what was on the early bride and in the prophet. So the prophet gave the word, and the word is the spirit, and the spirit is the word. And Elohim is the spirit, and Logos is the word. And Elohim is the Logos, and Logos is Elohim. Glory, glory. And the spirit word is in you. So when the messengers speak the word for their age, they are speaking spirit spoken word. Then when spirit spoken word comes into your souls, it'll burst. The word becomes a seed in you. And then God is able to explode that seed into the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Glory. The word is a conductor. Amen. For the spirit, let there be praise let there be light the word what is the conductor let there be light the word speaks it the holy spirit which is word the spirit of the word goes to work on what the word said holy spirit broods over the word glory hallelujah that's why peter could stand up. Peter spoke the word. He had a revelation. He said, repent every one of you and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and you shall receive the Holy Ghost. Then 3,000 souls received the word conductor. Then when they received that seed word, it come in their souls. It exploded. And 3,000 were sealed. Hallelujah. The word speaks. And it, and it goes. Whoosh. Hallelujah. Seal. 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 Holy Spirit. Sealing the word. Speak the word. Then Peter said, this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel in the last day. I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Hallelujah, we come to that time. We are here. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Oh, hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my, 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 hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, seal them. Fill them, seal them with the Holy Ghost and fire. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory. Oh, my. Oh my, praise God. You understand what I'm saying? The Elohim is the spirit, and the Logos is the word. And Elohim is the Logos, and Logos is Elohim. Then uh, Elohim come upon uh, Joel, and gave Joel that uh, revelation. And in the last days, Joel spoke that word. 
that word was a seed. Jesus come, that was a mystery. And Jesus revealed those mysteries. It's not given to them, but it's given to you to know the mystery. I want to ask you a question. If it's given to us to know the mysteries, why can't we have the seven thunders? Huh? Because the devil don't want you to have it. You mean to tell me that those that reject it is the devil in them? All hell is against this truth. All hell is against it. But they shall not prevail. You are the royal seeds of Abraham. Praise God. There has never been a gate created on this earth that can stop the pride of Jesus Christ. Glory. There's no gate. There's no devil that's going to stop you from receiving the Holy Ghost in fire. The Holy Ghost is here now. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. God be praised. God be praised. God be praised. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, my. My, my. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. My. Joel spoke the word. And the word is a seed. And they received the seed. And then Elohim went to work on the word. Then at the same Elohim revealed the word through the prophet. And you ministers preach that word. Praise God. The word itself has transforming power in it. To transform the species of its kind into what God said it would be. In this age, if God says, your thoughts are not my thoughts, praise God. Your words are not my words. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. These are not my words. These are, this is that which was spoken on the day of Pentecost. That same God that sealed them on the day of Pentecost. That same God is here tonight. Praise God. He remains the same. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. That same God is here tonight. Praise God to fill you, to seal you. Praise God to deliver you, to heal you. Praise God. He's here now. The Holy Ghost is here now. Oh, praise God. Seal them, Lord God. Seal them, seal them, seal them, seal them, seal them. Seal the deacons. Seal the usher. Seal the mothers outside. May the Holy Spirit sweep around here. Seal the video men. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, my, 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 my. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Sha. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. My. Preach that where. Glory. Mechanics and dynamics. Do you understand why it must be the word? Whew. Amen. Glory. The word and the spirit. Birth and power. You are channels of communication for inspiration. The prophets had a way of getting themselves out of the way, Brother Branham said. And I used to always wonder about that. So Job had a way. Brother Branham said he, had a, he has a gift. And I kept examining that. Then on page 15, I've heard now I see, he said that all cannot uh, uh, preach and all cannot be pastors. Then I caught it. Amen. Not only was the prophets a gift to get themselves out of the way, there's a fivefold ministry and there's elders. Then he come back and said, 
you are Christian channels of communication. And God gave you a gift to get yourself out of the way. A predestinated seed. That predestinated gift seed makes you a channel of communication. God stretches a ladder, Jacob's ladder, all the way from heaven down into your souls. And seven angels come up and down that ladder with revelation. Praise God. In that channel, that gift, that seed, that attribute, that thought, you are saved. In that same channel, you are healed. In that same channel, you are delivered. In that same channel, you are filled. You can't explain it. Suddenly, you see somebody raise up. Praise God, I'm healed. It's that channel of communication. Job had a way to get himself out of the way. And the devil come against him. Even his wife and his friends and all the church members. Job presented his burnt sacrifice. He laid the seven thunders out there for his family. And the devils couldn't move him. He couldn't get no inspiration. But he wasn't going to back up on anything he said. He said, seven thunders give faith. I'll stand here. I'll wait till my change come. I shall not be moved. Hallelujah. We're going to, if we don't, if we don't receive these meetings here, we'll come back to Fort Wayne. Hallelujah, priest. But you shall be filled. You shall be sealed. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Then, when God comes down in your channel, like he did Job, that was when the thunders began to roar. The lightning flashed. Job raised up in that channel, said, I know my Redeemer liveth. There's going to be a pride. That's going to raise up in that channel and the redemption will be on the manifested lamb's book of life the seed of the kingdom of this age praise god shall be manifested hallelujah they'll be doing signs and wonders and miracles they'll be speaking the word of god they'll be flashing like lightning praise god on their way out of here hallelujah glory to god ain't no devil gonna stop it It has been spoken and so shall it be. Hallelujah. Anything, anybody that stays in the channel and of the line of his word, Luther, Wesley, Pentecostal, you name it, it's got to be just that way. Isaiah 55, the word of God, it shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish. It shall accomplish. The purpose I sent it for. God said, I'm going to have a pride. Why would God call out a people in this last evil age? What would he do it for? He's going to prove to Satan that he is, uh, you are not like Eve. God says, you devil, you. I'm going to have a bride in the end. I'm going to let you loose 200,000, thousand devils. That bride shall stand. She's standing tonight. She shall not be moved. Oh, hallelujah. It shall not return to me, boy. Each one of them seeds has power within itself. Every one of you have a dynamo in you tonight. Paul said, stir up the power that's in you. How can this word fail? A word is a manifestation of a thought. Glory. It's an expression of a thought. Before you say anything, subconsciously you think it before you speak it. You got to get the thought first before you say it. And that's why you ought to say it. Brother Branham said, say something nice. Don't curse your brother. Don't speak against him. Say something nice. Because then you're receiving God's thoughts. And you're not receiving the devil. The devil said, look at him. Look at her. She did this. She, that's the devil. But God said, bless them when they shall revile you. Forgive them seven times seven. 
If you don't want to do it for yourself, do it for Christ's sake. Glory. I feel we're on the land tonight. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Praise. Amen, Brother Tommy. Hallelujah. They might think I'm Pentecostal. Amen. Glory. Before you speak it, you got to think it. Then when you speak it, then it becomes a word seed. Then it must come to pass. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't Brother Branham. That was Elohim, son of man, revealing a seed. That's got to come to pass. Every word in the Bible is God's thought, laid in seed form. And if receiving a human being, praise God, and spoke by the same thought that materialized the Bible, then how powerful should the church be? Glory. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And God in creation created the world by his thought first. Then he spoke it. Amen. And when the thought was expressed, it then become material. Now if that same spirit that said, let there be light, and there was light, dwells in you tonight, then you can say, let the dynamics fall tonight. Let there be no more cancer, it's gone. Let the blind eyes open. Let the deaf hear and the dumb speak. Let the cripples walk. That's not your thoughts. That's Elohim's thoughts for this day. The word seed becomes a real seed. Let there be light. That's a word seed. Then the spirit of the word, the energizer, went to work. And that word seed became a real seed and there was light. Right now, your word seeds. But the energizer is here tonight to make you real seeds for this age. But you cannot be a real seed unless you're a word seed. Praise God. That's the secret. You must be a word seed first. Then he could do what then he could take his word in you for this day and express it. It's your thoughts spoken by faith and express. Then become immaterial. Now you understand St. John 15, 7. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. I don't care if it's 700 years, but God spoke it. I don't care if it's 20 years, but God spoke it. For when omnipotent speaks, the miraculous does take place. That was omnipotent speaking, praise God. It's as sure as we in this place tonight, the miraculous shall take place. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Is God's thoughts becoming word seeds. And if it's not mixed with some interpretation or man's idea, it will materialize, become a real seed. Illustration today, Joseph Perfection, seven seals, adoption, seven thunders. Don't mix it up. Don't say, I think it's this, I think it's that. Just thunder, just uh, blow and show. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Confuse the devil. The thunder trumpet confuses Satan because they don't know what it is. Satan walks into your meetings in people and you are blowing the trumpet. They get up and walk out. They are confused. All the heads trumpet, thunder, 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 thunder. Womp, 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 womp. But if they are predestinated, praise God, shouting, dancing, singing, glory, hallelujah. I am free. I am free. I am free. Glory. Oh, praise. My glory to God. Amen. <laughs> glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory. There they are. You're free. Thou hast said. Glory. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Why are you jumping? 
Why are you shouting? Revelation lets you see it. Now is your thought. Now is your thought. Then you express it. Now it has become uh, not your words, but it's God revealed word expressed. And once it's revealed and expressed by you, then it's got to happen. That's why the thunder shakes the devils. Because the devil know it's revealed, but not to him. Let me understand it, make you understand this here. The seven thunders cannot be revealed to the church members. They can never know it. And they cannot be in the thunders and walk out. They never knew it. How can you know it and walk away? That doesn't even make sense. To know something and walk away, they never knew it. They thought they knew it. Oh, praise God. But you know it. You ain't going nowhere. You don't care what they call you. As long as they don't call you, as long as you're not called late for the rapture. Amen. Why? It was the mind of Christ speaking his own thoughts for the bride in her season. Then by the dynamics, bringing to pass his own thoughts into the word seed. Then becoming real seeds. On a word made fresh. I'm closing out. Amen. Kupendaba. Amen. Glory. Word made flesh. Jessville, Indiana. 10354. God's thoughts for this day. Quote, I believe it's on the road that when the church will be so wrapped in Christ, the Holy Spirit, mankind, so away from themselves that they don't see themselves. They don't have no motives, but serve God when their thoughts move on. Get out of your mind what the devil said. Get away. Thoughts move on when they refuse the things of the world. They just move in the spirit. They just live in the spirit and walk in the spirit. So fulfill the law of Christ. Then the love of Christ in the human heart moving in the Holy Spirit. That great wonderful church will go forth with power and deity because deity will be revealed in human beings. By the Holy Spirit bringing to pass the thoughts of their mind. And Elohim has put his thoughts in your mind. And the thunders reveal it to you, made it real. They had to hear by revelation. They are the wise men from the east. They seen the light. They are menacing spirits. Glory, glory. My deity will be revealed, bringing to pass the thoughts of your mind. The thought that you have for your children receiving the Holy Ghost. Deity will bring to pass that thought in your mind. The thought that you want to be healed, that's in the Word. Deity will bring it to pass. The thought for the Holy Ghost, Deity will bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Why? But it must be Malachi 4's spoken word in due season. It's got to be according to this message. It's the original thoughts of God in a word seed message. The seven seals, third seal. Page 242, quote, St. John 1 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Quote, now notice four things here. God, and this is a quote, God dwelt with us in flesh. He was the Word before a Word is a thought. Before a Word is a thought, and the thought has to be created. All right, so God's thoughts became creation when it was spoke by a Word. That is when He presents it to you as a thought your thought and it is revealed to you then it's still a thought until you speak it so i see four things there the spoken word of god is god's thoughts expressed they become creative 
uh, creation when it's spoke by a word. See, it must be spoken by a word. These are his thoughts. But you got to say it. Then if the seven thunders is God's thoughts and the prophet is gone, what's supposed to happen? Unless somebody preach it and say it, what's going to happen? Ain't nothing going to happen. Glory. You got to say it. So four things here. Number one, four things. That is when he presents it to you as a thought. Number two, it's your thought. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Lord. It's my thought. Sweet in my mouth is honey. What a revelation. Praise God. But number three, it's revealed to you. My revelation now. But number four, it is still a thought. That's, that's nice. It sounds good. Until you speak it. Do you understand now? The seventh thunder was revealed, but it was your thought, my thought, until we said it. Then praise God, it was God's thoughts. Because you took it back to the prophet. And he was only a channel of communication to express God's thoughts. I say, ask what you will. If you say to this mountain, Moses said, flies. And God's thought had already been spoken. Now it's the word. Moses said, flies. He can't take it back and put it back in his mouth. Done been spoken. So shall it be. We can't ram the thunders back into our mouths. Done been spoken, so shall it be. Now, once you speak it, it is the word. It is a spirit spoken word. Oh, praise God. It is the same as if God himself said, let there be light. When you say the seven thunders give faith, it is the same thing. It's no different. It is God himself failed in you speaking his thoughts. Oh, hallelujah. That's where you stand tonight. Let there be the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Back to the word. Speaking the seven thunder seeds tonight. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let God come into you and control you, and you will become Messiah, the anointed word. And then every promise of God, promise will come to pass. Okay, on the Messiah, Shreveport, 11761, quote, God's gift is his word. God promised, made a gift, sent a gift. And you take the gift, and then with his word, there's his conductor with a gift of God. If God give you a gift of the Holy Ghost, well, the Word of God is a conductor to use that power with. Whatever the Holy Ghost promised you, that's what you can do. That's the thing that delivers the Word. The Word goes right out, and the Holy Spirit follows the Word. Wherever the Word is preached, you see you, because, uh, because you see your pastor preach it. First thing you know, whoosh. Across the building goes the Holy Ghost. Peter preached the word. And out across thousands of people went to Holy Ghost on the seas. 3,000 out of maybe 300,000. But they was ordained to eternal life. When Peter spoke them words, whoosh, out went the Holy Ghost to follow the word. Peter spoke it there. That's the way it's going to be. Did you catch it? That's apostolic. Speak the word. Step back and Holy Ghost drop down in there. Shoom. That's what we're coming to. We're coming back to that. Short message, 15 minutes. Everybody's slain under the power of God. God doing perfect Holy Ghost works in the people. Praise God. 
Hallelujah. Praise his name. Glory to God. Peter preaching the word to 3,000. The word became spirit and exploded in them. The word in the 3,000 changed into spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. It can happen tonight. The word is the conductor of the spirit because where the word is preached, the spirit follows it. Wherever it goes, the spirit follows it. Preach the pure mechanics and down comes the dynamics. Why? Because you have hooked the word up to the dynamo. And the dynamo puts out the fullness of the current. But you must be in your position. John the Baptist was a Messiah. Head. He was part of the word because he was a gift of God. And Isaiah 40 said he was the voice of one crying in the wilderness. And when he got in his position to cry in the wilderness... Amen. Then the fire fell, and he was fearless. God always keeps his word to the anointed ones, and they reflect his Messiah light. And when the bride gets into her position in the thunders, she becomes fearless. Malachi forth prophecy to this church, the Messiah, quote, So when he comes upon his church in the last days, what will it be? A pulled out. A group of people anointed with the Spirit of God. They will be Messiahs. This is the prophet talking. They will be anointed ones. And if His Spirit is in them, they will do the things that He did. Just exactly. Isn't that right? Then you can take and connect the Word with the dynamo. Amen. Then if the current comes back saying it's right, you got a connection. When the current baptizes you, you got a connection. Praise God. So therefore, you must come according to the Bible and the message. And the word conductor can connect into the dynamo and release the current. Because the mechanics is connected to the dynamics. And then that will be the manifested Lamb's book of redemption. Oh, praise God. Oh, what a promise. Oh, who do you say this is? Oh, do I have time by five minutes? Amen. Praise God. Amen. Okay, I want to read something to you here. About anoint you've been hearing me talking about uh, because anointed, anointed. Amen. But here's who you are. This is about five minutes or so. Amen. Uh, who do you say to this? Page 13. Just notice how, how few recognize him to be the anointed word of that day. How few recognize the seven thunders to be the anointed word of that day. So God in the beginning, being infinite, knowed all things from the beginning. And the only thing that these things are is a display of his attributes. An attribute, you have an attribute, it's your thought. You think of something, then you speak it, then you take it. That's God, he is in... It doesn't say John Jones now. See, it's revealing what the mystery is. When the mystery is revealed, which is Christ, then that's your name. Because Christ is the Word, and the Word is called the name of God. Then the Word in you is called your name. Glory! My glory! So it was put in the Word, in the book of life before the world it was ever formed. See, you were His thought. And then you become a Word. And a thought express. And a Word is a thought express. Then, number, uh, number three, then you are manifested. And here you are manifested. Oh, my. That's the way he was. He was in the beginning by himself. God dwelt alone with his thoughts. He'll never do that again because his thoughts are being made manifest. God will never be alone again. My, my, he has you. Praise God. The manifested thoughts of God. Amen. Praise God. Oh, I feel the Holy Spirit on that one. He come to get you and he'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He'll be with you always. Hallelujah. He's going to take you home with him. Praise God. Amen. And that's why we are right here this day. It is God fellowshipping with his 
thoughts being made manifest. Do you know what he's saying? As each name is called, God said, I want a fellowship with you. My God is fellowshipping in Nigeria with his attributes. In Ghana, South Africa, Puerto Rico, Canada, America, Europe, God in the evening time fellowshipping with his attributes. Oh, praise God. There you are. So you, by taking thought, cannot add one cubit to your stature. You cannot do this, do that. The other is God that showeth mercy. All the Father has given me will come to me. And no man can come except my Father draws him. That settles it. Oh, my. Here we are. There's only one thing that you can put confidence in. And that's the Word. And the Word is God. And the Word anointed makes the Messiah. Did you catch what I'm saying? The prophet's message, the Word, he, he anointed the Word. So the Word was anointed. Then it comes in you with a promise. Then when the promise of that anointed Word is in you, anoints you. Then you become the anointed Word, the Messiah. You become a, a messiah on your job to save people on your job. You become a messiah to your family. Philip was a messiah. Peter was a messiah. Philip was a messiah to the Ethiopian eunuch. The Ethiopian eunuch had been up to Jerusalem with the big boys. And the big boys had the word, the word, the word, the word. But they didn't have the life, the life, the life, the seventh on the life. So the big boys read the word, the word, and the poor Ethiopian eunuch didn't understand the word. But brother, here come Philip, the Messiah. Philip spoke the word. He said, I understand this. <laughs> Glory to God. I want to be baptized. Amen. Praise God. Glory. That's the way it comes. The anointed word. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. And the word anointed makes the Messiah the anointed word of the hour. How beautiful they missed it. The word. The word is always right, but the interpretation of it was wrong. He said, be one as I am a father one. Yeah. Be that kind of one. Then how would that be? The word and us would be the anointed word. That is the oneness of God. See? The oneness of God is the word anointed in you. Now the mechanics is in you. And when the dynamics anoints the mechanics in you, then you become a Messiah. This is very important now. you got to become that Messiah in the judgment hour. And we'll prove it to you tomorrow. Amen. That is the oneness of God. See? The oneness of God is the word anointing in you. See? And then you become a son, a Messiah of the age. Then you manifest it. Then you don't have to say one thing about it. It speaks for itself. Oh, my, 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 my. It speaks for itself. Praise God. Amen. You believe that? Glory. Yes, sir. Praise God. Amen. Page 27. The Holy Ghost in you will punctuate the word, every word. Amen. Amen. When the word says anything, you say that's truth. Truth, man. Amen. That's because you agree with the word. You agree with God. You and God are one. God is in you. You're his son or his daughter makes you a Messiah for him, the anointed word living out in you. Oh, my. A couple of more here. Praise God. I'm a young man, page 26 here, uh, uh, wanting to get, waiting to get married. She meets my specification every way. She's a lovely Christian. She looks like one. She dresses like one. She acts like one. She lives like one. I admit she'd make me a good wife. 
but she isn't mine till I take her for mine. And that's the way the message is. You can sympathize with him and say it's right. And so and he said so, but you got to take it to yourself to become a part of it. Then you and the message become one. Then the anointing is with you as it is with the others. He talked about Moses, that great Shekinah glory all around. Every move he made represented God. That's where the church ought to be standing now. Instead of that, we offer some tantrum. Praise God, but he give you a promise here. Give me a church that's so completely anointed with God. Page 25. Till their every action and move is thus saith the Lord. Walk in that Shekinah glory and I'll show you a Messiah. Anointed one of God standing on this earth. I'll show you a perfect man, Ephesians 4, 13, the bride's glorious stand in the last days. Oh, let me give you uh, two quotes here and we're going to finish up. The rising of the sun, Holy Ghost. Amen. Notice this here now, page 30. This was a revelation here by the prophet. Now they were cowards, notice, but they had the mechanics. But they were all standing back in there saying, oh, I'm afraid of them. No, I'm afraid to go out and make a claim because all of them great big bishops and things out there. I'm afraid to say the seven thunders give faith. Oh, I'm afraid to say the seven thunders gather right together. All the bishops and the message. Oh, my, all the dignitaries. I'm afraid of caretakers and the builders in the message. And so was they. Oh, I'm afraid them priests and things. I'm afraid to make that claim. See, the prophet shines the light on your promises. And God takes the promise, the prophet away, and you make that claim. It's mine, mine, mine. Jesus is mine, 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 mine. <laughs> Ain't no backslidden preaching, and this message going to take Jesus away from me. He's mine, mine, mine. The seven thunders is mine. Say it. Speak it. Glory. 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 I'm afraid to make that claim. I'm afraid to say I believed on him. Oh, I just can't do that. I just can't say the seven thunders. They won't fellowship me no more. You know it's the truth. Amen. Can't you see that it is God taking the thunders? What would shake this whole thing? Except it be the thunders. Except it be that a people could follow the prophet with a spiritual revelation. The church is built on spiritual revelation. It's not built on some man telling you something. A dignitary or build a caretaker. They can, it's not built on that. I don't care who they were. It's built on your father coming back to you and telling you what the prophet said. That's how he builds this church. One over here and one over there. How could the Nigerians be here to know anything here? They didn't go on the hunting trips. <laughs> Amen. Their father revealed it to them. Bunch of old American foolishness. Coop and Tauber, back to the Bible. Back to the Bible. Preach the word of God. Give them the good news. You can tell the world about this. You can tell the world about that. But tell them that the comforter has come. And he brought joy, 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 joy to my soul. Tell the world about this, praise God. Tell them builders that I have joy in my bones, praise God. Tell the, tell the builders, tell the caretakers, he set my foot on a rock to stay. I'm standing on a rock. I'm standing flat-footed. Praise God, I shall not be moved. Hallelujah. He brought me out of the miry clay. He put my feet on a rock to stay. He put a song in my heart. He put a word in my mouth. I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. It's the power of God unto salvation. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Praise God. Take your stand. Hallelujah. When they begin to come against this, they begin to come against that. That's the hour. I'll give you a mouth. I'll give you wisdom. Take your stand. Don't you ever back up. You stand there, praise God, flat-footed like Joe. You hear the thunder's roar. You hear the lightning flash. Praise God. Glory, glory, glory to God. Shout. And all of a sudden, the dynamics come. Yes, and what did it do? It not only filled their spirit inside. That's what we're trying to tell you. There's some in here that don't have a birth yet. But when it comes to dynamics, not just for birth and the gifts, we're not talking about that. These ministers cannot get it. But here it is here. Praise God. It not only filled their spirit inside, but it quickened their mechanics. It put anointing in their hands. They laid their hands on the sick. It anointed their tongue. They began to speak in tongues. Your mechanics, your body is not shuck. Your body is not a blade. Your body is not a tussle. Your body is not a shuck. Your body is a word seed. And in your word seed for this day, your body is a grain. And in you is a seven thunder germ. And when God breaks that seventh seal in you, it's been silence, silence for half an hour. But God is fixing to break that seventh seal germ. Out will come Malachi 4. Out will come Luther and Weston all down there. Out will come the true baptism of the Holy Ghost. Oh my. Your bodies will become flesh. The germ will permeate your body. The, the Holy Spirit like the size of a button, the prophet said. A little button of light. And when you surrender and die, that light goes all over your body. It fills your mind and your heart and... Your, 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 your arms and your legs, you're filled with the Holy Ghost. Don't you read in the, in the book of Acts, it's scriptural. Paul, full of the Holy Ghost, shook loose the viper. <laughs> full of the Holy Ghost. Stephen, full of the Holy Ghost and faith. Peter, full of the Holy Ghost. That's Acts. We're coming back to the ministers full of the Holy Ghost. Signs and wonders and miracles follow them. Praise God. Their bodies were quickened. They were no more cowards. See, God couldn't do it with the shuck because it was not his body. It was the life going through the shuck. But you are his actual body for this day. You are the grain. My, the bride, him. Messiah, Messiah. Glory. They were no more cowards. They went right out in the face of the people. Yes, sir, you men of Judea that drill in Jerusalem, where before the dynamics come, they were just mechanics. There you are. So, praise God. Let me close out here now. Page 32. There the sun has to be revealed again in the bride in the last days. Quickening power has got to come and quicken out of these dead denominations and creeds to a living word of the living God. Oh, it quickened them to a new life. It does the same thing for us now. Amen. Notice, then they were so quickened in that quickening power. Listen close. Here's a prophet speaking now. Listen close now. I'm trying to show you the quickening power wasn't only in their soul, the spirit, see, but it was all over them. Not only the dynamics come in to quicken, but it quickened the mechanics. They were so quick until their tongues began to speak in another language. They were so quickened by the power of the resurrection of Christ until they laid their hands. With quickening power, they laid their hands upon the sick. They got well. 
It will quicken your mortal bodies. They were healed by laying on their hands. Quickening power. That's why I prayed for the ministers last night. Take your hand to hand and ask for your mechanics to be quickened, to lay it on the people coming through. I know what I'm talking about. Praise God. Amen. Oh, my. Praise God. Here's a promise for you, page 35. Like the Pentecost experience today and the coming of the Holy Ghost in these last days was promised. See how he drops it? And you got to understand what he's saying there. The Holy Ghost today. We got it today. But the promise of the Holy Ghost coming. Amen. Praise God. It's like the abstract of title deed. You can get the title, sure. You can get the title of the place. That still don't say it's yours. No, sir. Somebody back yonder could come in and put a claim on it. But when you got an abstract, it shows that everything is ever against it is struck off, plumbed back from the foundation. Is that right? And when a man has said that he believes the word, and you believe the word, all you see is that God believed that word. And then when the Holy Spirit comes, it is the abstract to the title. And that gives you permission when you have that abstract that every bit of that belongs to you and everything on it belongs to you. Amen. And that gives you the abstract when the Holy Ghost comes upon this title deed that God saw back yonder before the foundation of the world and put the name on the book of life, but was born through a man and woman and subject to sin and guilty of sin. But when I believed on it, I received the deed. But when the Holy Ghost come, it was the abstract that everything against me, whether my mother done it, Oh, hallelujah. I don't care what kind of strange uh, habits your mother had or what kind of strange things come upon her in her season, her time. Praise God. Or your grandmother, your grandfather, that got nothing to do with it. God don't have no grandmothers and grandfathers. Sure. Amen. Glory. Whether if my father done it, my grandmother done it, like the little epileptic child I prayed for a few minutes ago that come from the grandparent, the epilepsy fell upon the child. I said, but when the after has come, it struck off, omitted everything. I'm an abstract holder. Amen. And as sure as the spirit that raised Christ from the dead, I have an abstract deed that I'm part of that body with the abstract of the Holy Ghost making that body of the word live out just exactly like it did in him as he promised in the last days. Oh, praise God. There you are. Do you love him tonight? You are the manifested Lamb's book of the redemption. Oh, praise God. Lay your hand on somebody's shoulder. Let us have a word of prayer. Oh, everybody pray in your own way. You anointed sons and daughters of God. Glory to God. Praise God. You can call down the fire. Do you believe that? Are you afraid of it? You believe that you can call down fire here tonight? Fire's all over the place. You can call for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit, the same Holy Spirit that was poured out oh, on the day of Pentecost. I, I will restore, saith the Lord. I'll bring back that same outpouring of the Holy Spirit in the last days. Almighty God, Father, praise God in the book of Acts 4. Lord God, they gathered, Lord. The heathen was raging. Praise God. And they prayed. And they come together and they pray and the house was shaken and all that was in the house praise god lord god you fill it with the holy ghost and fire almighty god tonight father as we have our hands laid upon one another praise god lord god may you pour out the baptism of the holy ghost and fire tonight oh god send down the fire send down the fire Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord God, may you pour out the ceiling. May you pour out the filling. May you pour out deliverance. May you pour out the healing. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. God be praised. Oh, my. Come on, praise God. Don't give up now. Pray. Hallelujah. You stand there. God promise. It's your promise. Praise God. 
Oh, who do you say this is? Hallelujah. Praise his wonderful name. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I'm desperate tonight, Lord. Lord, fill my wife. Lord, fill my children. Lord, fill the ministers. Lord, fill the deacons. Fill the ushers. Fill the videotape men. Fill the tape men. Fill all the people. Fill all the house. And there came a sound from heaven like a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the house. Tongues of fire set upon them. Glory to God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise glory. Praise God. Ask. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Father, we love you. Father, we praise you. Father, we're thanking you now for outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Oh, praise God. God be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my, here he comes. He's a coming. He's coming down the pipe. Praise God. God be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, may you pour out the Holy